Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to day four. Holy crap. Um, my 4th of July stuff will be posted tomorrow, okay? Okay, anyways, we're moving on from that. Um, we're at the mall. We're gonna go see a movie. We're gonna go see Corella. I already pre-ordered the tickets for us at 1.30, so we're gonna go have some lunch. Are you excited? Yes. Curious how this is gonna turn out with us being in the pandemic? Yeah, kind of. Even though we're kind of not in a pandemic anymore? We're not, really. Well, we are and we are, but... I'm glad the theaters are open back up again. I can't, I'm looking forward to popcorn and soda. I'm looking forward to the popcorn and snacks. Are we getting popcorn and snacks? Yes. Yay! I use my legs for the parking garage. We're gonna go in and um, go have some lunch first. Okay, so we decided to come to Buffalo Wild Wings for lunch real quick. Ooh, my shirt. And then depending on how quick we end here, we could walk around for a hot minute and then let me get you a pair of shorts. <laughs> and then we can go get concession stand stuff. Okay. Lunch is over. I'm really full. But it was really good. <laughs> we haven't eaten there in a long time. And their orange chicken is actually like bomb. And our waitress remembered us. <laughs> Why wouldn't she? Because it's been almost a year since we've seen her. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I am way too full for comfort, which is not good. Because I don't go to a theater to watch a film. I go to eat popcorn. If I can't eat popcorn, I don't go to the film. It's just a rule I have. How are you gonna do that then? We're in. We have like a large popcorn drink. We're getting one popcorn. Okay. Do we need to have two? I don't need that much. No, I, I was just that much. no, I was just curious. Because I'm I'm sorry. Come on, I'll cry. Bathroom is insane. I are you gonna get the red wine? The little twizzlers? No. Do we need to look like they only have red wine? But I might get sweet tart ropes. What? I might get sweet tart rubs. Tell them see milk duds. Yeah. Messed up. The largest dude. I've been in the theater in forever. Oh, my crap. He's playing here. F9. Oh, my crap. It's good to be back. Get paid twice as fast. <laughs> this is limited. Subscribe only in the Regal app. Reality. It was a really good movie. It was. Really good. Um, I enjoyed it immensely. Definitely got caught up 
in the the show that I couldn't finish my snacks. I have M&M's in my purse. <laughs> well, I finished my candy. Oh, I didn't. I still had one sweet tart left that I didn't finish, and I have my M&M's in my bag. I got wrapped up in that movie. I laughed. I almost cried. I agree with my boss, though. It's not what you think it's going to be. If you go into it thinking it's going to be a remake of 101 Dalmatians, you're going to be heavily disappointed. But if you go into it just the mindset of a new character, which is Cruella DeVille, and you go into it with almost not even having a backstory of her, or just thinking of her as just another character in the world, you know? Don't think of her as, like a, as a Pixar or a Disney villain and just kind of put her as a person. It actually makes the story very interesting. And it actually it changes. makes the whole story make more sense. Yeah, everything makes more sense, and everything comes together very nicely. The house. Yeah. Okay, guys. It is currently 10:58, and I was talking to my boyfriend because uh, he's been a little bit more quiet today than he usually is. And I'm like, "Are you okay, dude?" And he was telling me that he's been a little overwhelmed. He's okay, but he's been a little overwhelmed. And it's just, my girlfriend instinct was like, "What? What do you need? Everything? Tell me, tell me." So you know, been dealing with that. But we need to do a question for today. So, with the box. I'm not looking. Are you excited for your B day this year? Sure. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yes and no. I think there is a party that it, I think, of course, I of course I'm excited for my birthday. I mean, who wasn't excited for their birthday? But I think there is a part of me that is a little scared to turn 20. You know, being an adult and leaving teenagehood, and you know, I know when they say when you're 18, you're an adult. But I I, I always think about this: 18 and 19 is the same thing to me as being 11 and 12. Being an 11 and 12, you're not a child anymore, but you're not yet a teenager. 18 and 19, it's, you're not, you're no longer really a teen, but you're not an adult yet. You're learning how to be an adult. It's like when you're 11 and 12, you're learning how to be a teenager. Those transitions are happening. And like, I graduated college in literally like almost, I mean, so soon. I graduate like it's spring of next year. I graduate. So I only have two quarters left. I'm in, I'm going into my, I'm going into my senior semester of college, uh, so I'll be graduated before I'm 21. I have an amazing boyfriend who I would, who I'm literally like, never been this in love with somebody in my life. I have some of the most amazing friends I could have ever, ever imagined. I have the a career that I could have never dreamed of from doing YouTube and working with creators and I have family members who I love and support. Me and my cousin have gotten really close and having her as my boss, as, as my employee and as someone who works for me and being able to be her boss and to fit, fulfill those roles have been really awesome. And my mom and I have gotten super close and it's just like, I can't be happier um, as I am right now. And like, I can't imagine me being any happier in my life. So the fact that I'm not even 20 yet, I just can't imagine what that means being 20. I don't know, I just feel like becoming an adult, I don't know, I just, it's just, I don't know, there's something about it for me that I'm just like, what happened to my childhood? I was so focused growing up on the future. You can ask younger me, you can ask anybody in my family. When I was younger, I was so focused on being an adult. When I was, you know, nine and 10, or when I was even 16, I was so focused on being 18, being 20, being 21, and like what I need to do at that time in my life to be prepared. And I remember nine-year-old me stressing out about being 18 and what I need to do to prepare for my life and how I'm gonna have my career. And I was so focused on that, I forgot to be a kid sometimes. There were many times that I forgot to be a kid and I definitely was very mature for my age because I was one child in a world of nothing but adults everyone around me was older than the age of 40 and you know I had that mindset because that's how I was raised and I've always been very fo future focused um, of like what do I need to do right now so that later I have it and I've always been like that and so I feel like uh, yeah I had childhood moments yeah I played with toys yeah I had my, my fair share of mistakes yeah of course I was a kid but I also feel like I wasn't a kid and that there was a lot of crucial childhood things I didn't do because I was too mature or I knew better and you know there's definitely sometimes I'm like can I redo my childhood because 
I like to have more fun, <laughs> you know. So I feel like it's such a mixed thing. I'm like, are you excited this year? Well, yeah, of course I'm excited for my birthday, and I'm excited to start a new chapter and to like, you know, be an adult and leave teenhood behind and just finally figure things out. But I'm also just kind of like, I don't want to grow up. So, yeah, that's kind of my. Oh, that scared me. That scared me. So that's kind of like where I'm at. So it's like a mixed answer. But I need to start editing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. Today was just like a movie day for us. We just went to the movies. And it was so much fun to see Corella DeVille. That was such a good movie. Holy shit. Um, and into the comments below. Were you or are you excited for your birthday this year? How old are you going to be? Let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for a 4th of July video. Good night.